The district has an improved website. We'll have the details next. Also on the broadcast, we'll find out about two upcoming fundraisers. All this and more coming up on KFY Weekly News. Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. Visit the store to choose from thousands of designs to get digitally printed on shirts, hoodies, jerseys, and more. You can get apparel for your friends, family, clubs, and businesses. There are no setup or design fees and no minimums, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you want. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive, Suite D in Independence. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and the NFHS Network. I'm Madison Hansen. And I'm Tony Rios. Here are this week's news, upcoming events, and announcements for the Florida State School District. The district updated their website on January 20th to help bring you news and information in a more concise, consistent fashion. Check out the new look and navigation, which includes all web pages associated with the main district site. School and teacher pages are now easier to use and provide the information that is important to you. Check out the new look at www.fortosage.net. Fortosage Adult Education is ready to help you jump into a new career. Our emergency medical technician basic course will teach you the skills to seek state certification and a satisfying career as first responder. Certified nurse assistants are in high demand with several openings in our area. There there are also having exciting enrichment courses coming up like beginning sign language, retirement planning, or authentic Indian cooking. These three courses are some of our most popular ones. We have something for everyone, so check out our brochure for more course offerings. Call us to enroll at 816-650-7183 or go online at www.fortosagenet forward slash adult ed. Culver's is hosting a fundraiser night for the Job Olympics that will benefit for Florida State students dine in or drive in through the Independence Culver's location on Little Blue Parkway January 30th from 5 to 8 p.m. and 10% of all proceeds will benefit the Florida State Job Olympics. Don't miss the Project Grad Auction at the Vendor Fair coming up February 25th at the High School Varsity Gym. The Vendor Fair runs from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The auction starts at 10 a.m. There will be a concessions available bid on items like a Florida Sage t-shirt quilt, gift cards, even tickets and letterman's jackets and more. Contact Christine Bryant at 816-824-8316 or Peggy Doss at 816-694-0316 for more information. We'll be right back with more news from around the district after this message. Culver's welcomes you to deliciousness. Choose from a variety of options they have to offer, from strawberry shakes and root beer floats to grilled sandwiches and crispy chicken to be prepared by their friendly staff. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with their fresh frozen custards and butter burgers. Come into Culver's or pick up some carry out and let them serve you. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. The 2017 Missouri Senate Art Exhibit will feature artwork by Florida Sage student Rebecca McCain. Her 2D artwork, entitled Shades of My Soul, was selected to represent District 11 in the exhibit in Jefferson City and will be on display all year. Rebecca will be recognized at an award ceremony on March 16th in Je Jefferson City. Re recently, the students at the Council at Blue Hills Elementary sponsored a setup at a Tree of Warmth. At a new Salem Baptist Church, Stucco President Grayson Harris delivered a speech to his classmates telling them to spread the word about the tree and invites anyone in need of free mittens, gloves, hats, and earmuffs to pick them up for use during the cold months. We'll have this past week's sports report after this message from our sponsors. Toscano's is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscano's offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. 
Let John and Kirk give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Hey everybody, I'm Brianna Reeve with this week's KFOI Sports Recap. Five Florida State District athletes participated in the Kansas City Metro Area Basketball Tournament on January 7th in Belton. High school students Robert Swafford and Philip Bailey, along with Osage Trail student Philippe Merlot, won first place in three-on-three -three division, defeating Liberty 16-12 and Park Hill 20-4. Robert Swafford led the Indians with 22 points on the day. High school students Gabriel Beam, Bailey Hall, and senior Colin Eccles, along with Osage Trail student Gene Weir, also won first place in their three-on-three -three division, defeating Lee Summits 20-12 and Belton 20-2. Eccles led the Indians with 16 points on the day and Hall added 14 points. Both teams will advance to regional competition on February 4th in Joplin, Missouri. The boys varsity basketball team lost to Winnetonka January 17th, 76-60. Isaiah Wilson led the Indians with 16 points, followed by Kayvon Smith's 12 points. The girls varsity basketball team lost to Winnetonka January 17th, 50-47. I'll be right back with more sports information after these messages from the NFHS Network. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard and graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Welcome back. The varsity wrestling team won a double duel January 17th, defeating Ruskin and Rockers. Wins came from Josh Reek, AJ Sanchez, Colin Divers, Austin Dunham, Lee Rodriguez, Nevada Roos, and Jim Moult. Catch live Fort Osage High School sports coverage on KFOY Sports, broadcasting on the NFHS network. Viewers can purchase a pay-per-view monthly pass for $9.95 or a yearly pass for $49.95. Visit nfhsnetwork.com and search for Fort Osage High School. There you will find upcoming live events. The next live KFOI sports broadcast will be the girls' varsity basketball game between the Indians and Grandview, January 23rd. Coverage starts at 6.45 p.m. with a tip-off scheduled for 7.00. Catch all the action at nfhsnetwork.com. That's all for your sports recap. I'm Brianna Reeve. Thanks, Brianna. If you have Forest Sage news and information you would like to share on KFOI Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Merithew at bmerithew at fortosage.net or Forest Sage Director, PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fortosage.net. Catch all the latest high school news announcements and sports results on KFOI Daily News, 4 Osage High School's TV broadcast airing each day during the school week. Visit nfhsnetwork.com and search for the 4 Osage High School. Not only will you find KFOI Daily News, but videos on demand of past sporting events. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Madison Hanson. And I'm Tony Rios. Thanks for watching us on Comcast Channel 15 at AT&T Channel 99 and the NFHS Network. Have a great day. <laughs>